According to the OECD, a multicultural society is a country where more than 5% of its population consists of foreigners, second-generation immigrants, and naturalized citizens. With more foreigners coming into South Korea every year, the country is soon expected to become a multicultural society. Then, what's it like to live as a foreigner in South Korea? Our Song Yujin went out, went out to find out more. Two million. Accounting for almost 5% of the population, that's the number of foreign residents living in South Korea. The figure had been steadily rising, but dropped during the pandemic. Now it's rebounding again and is expected to grow. In five years, the number of foreign residents will reach 3 million and in the long run will make up 10% of the population. Every year, South Korea's economically active population declines by 300 to 500,000. Attracting more foreigners will help solve this labor shortage and population decline. But starting a new life in a brand new country isn't easy. The biggest obstacles are language and social perception. I live in Dobongu and there a lot of people don't speak English. If in the subway, all the people look at me like how she's foreigner. It's even harder if you're planning to stay long term. I've never seen a person who moved here because the Korean society is welcoming. It's been really exclusive to foreigners as it has a long history of cultural ethnic homogeneity. Then what kind of efforts are being made in South Korea to help foreign residents adapt to the country? One of them is the Justice Ministry's Korea Immigration and Integration Program. Designated institutions offer free classes to help foreigners become self-reliant members of society. The program has several levels. Korean language is taught from level 0 to 4, and those who complete level 4 have no problem communicating in Korean. Levels 5 and 6 teach Korean culture and society. Students can apply for permanent residency after level 5 and naturalization after level 6. But there's still room for improvement. When I first came to Korea in the early 2000s, there were very few foreigners living here, so there were barely any relevant laws or policies. It's been less than two decades since they started developing them, so right now they're too complicated and all over the place. To solve this, the government is pushing to launch an immigration agency. There's no single designated body that's in charge of immigration and foreign resident-related affairs. Installing an agency that's solely in charge will not only increase the efficiency of the immigration and visa process, but also help the country attract more foreign talent into the country. With South Korea looking to become a more multicultural society, relevant efforts should be made to embrace and support those who come here. Song Yujin, Arirang News.